Hi ladies, welcome to the second trimester. Hopefully you're feeling great and you've got energy to burn. We're gonna get stuck into a second trimester prenatal workout. Come and join us. Quick disclaimer guys, just remember before you embark on any exercise, it's always a great idea if you have any medical history to make sure you visit a GP and get a tick of approval before commencing any exercise. So we're back with TT, great to see you. This workout is obviously tailored to our growing bellies. We're in the second trimester and things have changed a little bit, so can't wait to get stuck into this one. Okay, Laura, so to start off with today, we're gonna to start in your four point kneeling position. Yeah. So set up for this position here, we want your hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Your knees will be roughly about hip width apart. From here, we're going to start with a nice little spinal stretch here. So what, we're going to start with your, your cat camels here. So what you want to do is round through the spine and push your shoulders apart, your shoulder blades apart. You should feel a nice stretch through the inside parts of your shoulder blades. And then from here, we're flattening your spine and arching through here and getting a nice stretch through your lower back. And then we'll inhale here, we'll round through the spine again and separate those shoulder blades apart. And we'll exhale and we'll arch back down and then come into that cat position here. We're gonna go for another four here, just rounding through the spine, just feeling those muscles pulling apart. Exhaling as you come down and arch through the back, allowing the, shoulder, the lower back here to relax as well, rounding through the spine flattening out here. So it's a great little mobility stretch if you're finding that your lower back's starting to get a bit sore or a bit stiff. Great little exercise here just to give you a little bit of relief through your lower back. This is really your last one here, Laura. So big inhale as you round through the spine here, pulling your shoulder blades apart. Exhale here, we'll look up and arch through the spine there. Excellent. Now, in between here, we're gonna find a neutral spine. So we just wanna sort of tip forward and back and just find somewhere that's nice and comfortable. You should just see a nice flat sort of surface here on your back. From here, Laura, we're gonna go into your bird dog. So you're extending your arm and opposite leg in two, in two different directions here. So as you extend your left arm out, your right leg kicks back, then you're swapping it over here. Now we're focusing on trying to make sure that the pelvis stays nice and firm here and nice and still. So we're focusing on drawing in through the tummy, exhaling as you reach the arm and leg out, focusing on trying to squeeze as tight as you can through your arm and your quadriceps of the muscle above the knee so that you're taking a little bit of tension out from your, your belly here as well. So really thinking about trying not to shift too much weight side to side, pelvis should stay nice and still here, but opening up through the arm and the leg. Okay, exhaling as you extend the arm away, inhaling as you come back in, excellent. Pelvis stays nice and still, beautiful. Now really think about lengthening the arm and leg away here, stretching as far as you possibly can, squeezing into the glutes and into the thigh of that leg that you're stretching out there. Good, really lengthen point the toes, point the arm away from the body, drawing back in. We're gonna go for another four here, so two more on each side. That's it, last three, stretch, drawing in, squeezing the bicep in towards the ear. Excellent, last one here, beautiful. In this same position now, we're going to extend the right arm, left leg out over your head exactly like we did before. We're pausing here for a second, we're gonna open the arm and leg out about 20 degrees, draw back into the center and then tuck back in. Hand returns back under the shoulders. Extend the opposite arm and leg. Hold, we'll open and close about 20 degrees out. Draw back in. Now with this, it's really important to make sure you're squeezing as tight as you can for the muscles of the, your bottom and your thigh so that you keep the pelvis nice and still. Now if you are getting some pelvic girdle pain here, just make your um, leg openings here a little narrower rather than going right out to end degree. You certainly don't want you to be pushing through any pain. So you shouldn't be feeling any pain, just tension through the legs and the glutes, and maybe a little bit through the stabilizing hand there as well. All right, we're gonna go for another 10 here in total. Excellent. Big reach out, drawing into the tummy, opening, closing through the hip here. Excellent. 
big stretch. Make sure you're pulling the bicep in towards the ear when you reach your arm out, lengthening as much as you possibly can through your spine and through the arms and the legs here. Excellent, we've got four left here. Good. Big squeeze through your bottom as you kick your leg out, making sure here as you're getting tired that you're keeping your pelvis as still as possible. Excellent, last one here on each side. Reach forward, open, close, draw back in here, press away, open and close. Excellent guys, have a quick little breather here if you need to just roll those shoulders back. Yeah. Excellent, so that should be a nice little warm up. You should be starting to feel like your body's getting a little bit warmer now. Now, just a little tip here, if you are feeling a bit more tension through the neck, just think about um, reducing your range here. So Laura, as, as you set up here, we're drawing into the tummy, the shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. We're gonna extend your right leg out to start. Okay, so kick the right leg out, hold the pelvis nice and still, the legs right leg. Is that the left one? Yeah. <laughs> that's right, we can start Sorry. with the left, that's alright. Okay. Then, <laughs> yeah. then from here, you're gonna keep this leg lifted. So left leg lifted, and we're gonna lower the chest down towards the floor, hinging from the hips. Excellent, drawing back up. So lowering the chest down, we're gonna keep that leg extended there, Laura, that's it. Holding that leg out, squeezing through your glutes, squeezing through the muscle here above the knee, the whole time, we're keeping tension through the lower limbs, and we're just lowering that chest nice and slowly down towards the ground. Excellent. We've got six left here. Think about pulling the elbows into the body here a little bit more so we can target more through the back of the arms. And again here, if you are feeling a little bit of pelvic girdle pain, think about bending your knees. Or if you just bend your knee in a little bit closer and you keep that leg lifted there. If that's still not suitable, just keep both knees on the ground. So just pop both knees on the ground. Still underneath the hips and we're just lowering the chest down. Okay, and we've got three to go here, Laura, if you just extend that left leg out again, and lowering, last two. On this last one here, I want you to hold down the bottom. We're going, curling the heel in towards your backside, extending the leg out and back out into your, your starting position, and then pushing back up. So up, back up into your push-up position there, that's it. So lowering down, curling the heel in, straightening the leg back out, and pushing back up. And again here, if you're finding this is too much pressure through the pelvis, keep both knees down, okay? Or you can just keep your knee bent the whole way through so your heel is as close to your backside as possible. Excellent, beautiful. How are you feeling here, Laurie? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. Yes, arms. Um, yeah, good, excellent. And again, here you guys think about pulling those shoulders down away from the ears each time you push away from the ground. You've got three. That's it, lowering and push two. Keep that heel lifted, squeezing through the thigh and the glute. Last one here, stay low, that's it. And then we're bringing the knees back underneath the body. Okay. Yeah. Giving your shoulders a bit of a roll out here. We're coming back into that four point kneeling position. We're bringing the heel into the bottom and we're lifting the heel up towards the roof into that donkey kick here. Okay, so exhaling as you lift. Inhaling as you lower and bring the knee back in line with the opposite leg. So still working the left leg or the original leg you started on. Think about pulling the shoulders down and away from the ears. If you would like to make this exercise a little bit harder, feel free to extend your right arm out over your head. So you're only supporting with three places of contact. But again, you can always keep both hands down and focus on squeezing through your glutes. So with this, we're focusing on squeezing as tight as you can through that left glute here. Um, keep your heel as close to your bottom as you possibly can. That's it, and straight up, excellent. Heel stays as close to your bottom here, pretending like you've got a glass of water on your foot here, so your foot should be nice and flat as you kick up. Excellent, we've got three. Finishing up with little pulses here, two. On the end of this next one here, both hands resting on the floor, lifting the heel up towards the roof, and we're just going for little tiny pulses here. So just up as high as you can, and we're lowering just a tiny inch back down. Excellent, guys. We're going to count back from 10 here. Nine. Excellent. Keep your pelvis in nice and close. Seven. 
six, five, excellent. Big squeeze through bottom, four, three, two, and one. Just gently bring those knees back together here. You oh. can sit back into your child's pose and oh just let those shoulders yeah. um, wow. relax there. That was a killer, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope you're all feeling that burn as much as me. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna do the other side. Yeah, we're gonna even it all up here. Okay, so just give your shoulders a little bit of a roll back here. If you need to just open up through your chest, feel free to do so as well. But otherwise, we'll return back into that four point kneeling position. This time I will kick your opposite leg out and we're holding that fully extended. Now make sure you're squeezing through your bottom and you're squeezing through the thigh as well so that you're, you're holding as much tension through your legs as possible. We're hinging from the hips and lowering the chest down towards the ground. Now you do have an option here as well if you're finding that your triceps are getting too sore. Just widen your um, hand um, distance <laughs> the distance of your hands apart and you'll find that you'll work more through the front of the chest rather than through the arms here as well. So I'll give you the option there to either go within shoulder width distance or you can go a little bit wider to work through the chest here as well. But otherwise we're really focusing on tensing as tight as possible through the thigh muscles, squeezing your bottom and then we're lowering the chest down towards the ground. And again, your option here if you are getting any pelvic girdle pain is to keep both knees on the ground or you can bend your heel in towards your bottom and shorten um, the length of your lever there. Okay, we've got another three here. Excellent, they're really good. Just make sure you're exhaling as you push away from the ground. Two. Last one here. We're holding down the bottom and we're curling the heel in towards your backside, stretching the leg out again and then pushing away from the floor. Excellent, lowering the chest down, curling the heel in towards your bottom, lengthening the leg away and pushing up. Excellent guys, really good. Try and stay really strong for the arms here, pulling those shoulders away from the ears. We're lowering down, curling the heel in towards your bottom and then lengthening that leg away. Good, lower, curl the leg in. Almost here guys, we've got four. Lower and curl. Think about lengthening and holding that tension through the thigh here. You've got three, that's it. Last two, lowering down. One more, stay low here. Actually, sorry, come back up. Both knees back down on the floor for a quick breather, just roll those shoulders away. And then we're finishing off with your donkey kicks here. Okay. So two more exercises to go. We're bringing, stay with heel. Heel. <laughs> <laughs> bringing the heel back towards your bottom and then we're kicking the sole of your foot up towards the roof. So you want to try and bring that foot as close to your bottom as you can, rather than letting it kick away. And that way you should feel it much more intensely through your, your bottom here as well. Now think about drawing those shoulders away from the ears. You're staying long through the tummy here. Shoulders are slightly drawn together. Excellent. Squeezing through your bottom here as tight as you can. Really focus on keeping the pelvis nice and still. Excellent. Really good. Feeling okay here, Laura? Yeah. Excellent. I definitely feel it working. Good. Excellent. We've got four here before we finish off with your pulses. Three. Big push all the way up to the roof. Two. And the last one here. Hold a really strong through your tummy and little tiny pulses at the top here. We're going four, ten here. Nine, eight. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, good, last two, and one, and bring those knees back together and you can sit back into your child's pose if you oh like. Oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> so I feel like I need to just stretch, stretch out one of arms there, excellent. Woo. Well done. move into a bit of a squat series here. So we'll start with your feet about shoulder width apart here, Laura. Yeah. And we're focusing, giving the hip bones pointing straight ahead. Yeah. Okay. Now, from here, um, if you are experiencing any pelvic girdle pain, you just keep your stance nice and narrow. If you have any other discomforts through your legs, the, narrow, the wider you go with your feet, the less um, pressure you'll feel through your knees, for example. But from here, we're just going to start about shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight ahead. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with your squats here. So we're sitting the hips back behind as if you're sitting into a chair, knees open up nice and wide, and you're squeezing through your bottom to stand back up. 
chest should stay up nice and tall here. Sit your bottom back and rising back up, squeezing through the bottom. Excellent. Good. Now, you really want to think about planting your heels down into the floor. So really emphasize as much contact through the heel and your little toe, and that should help you to keep your knees tracking away from each other here. But otherwise, if you look down every now and then, just make sure that your inside part of your knees tracking over your second toe, you're doing a really good job. Excellent, keep sit back. Beautiful, chest up nice and tall. When you get to the top here, think about squeezing through your bottom. Another option here as well, if you're feeling quite unstable through the hips, is just to come down a quarter of the way and then stand back up. Just a quarter of the way and come straight back up. Excellent. We go for another five here. Four. Excellent. Last three. Good. Two. And one. Excellent. Good. So the legs should be feeling quite warm now. Yeah. We're going to add in a few little side steps to this round through. So standing where you are here, Laura, keeping your feet about hip width apart. I'm going to take two steps out to the side. Once you get to the end here, we're going to add in one squat. Sure. Two steps out to the side here again. And two. And then keeping those feet about shoulder width apart. One squat here. Walking back over to the other side here. Try and stay into a little semi squat here when you're stepping out. So you're keeping that tension through your glutes here. Each step you take, think about planting your heel down first. Excellent, good. Now knees should always be tracking away from each other, even as you're stepping, and especially as you squat down, think about moving those knees apart. Excellent. And little squat here, and rising up, coming out to the side. Here, good. How are you feeling here, Laura? Yeah. Good, can you feel your heart rate coming up a little bit yeah, as well? Definitely can. Excellent, so if you are breathing a little bit, um, more frequently here, it's a good sign of starting to lift you for your heart rate, but if you are feeling like this is a bit too much, just go back to your squats here again. But we're going to go for one more lap either side. Excellent. One little squat here, and then over to the other side. Excellent. And one little squat here. Excellent, ladies. Just have a quick little breather here. Nice Great job, <laughs> Doing really well. We've got a couple more to add on here. So from here now, we're adding in a little bit of a transition of weight. So we're, we're sticking to the left leg to start with here, Laura. You're going to squat down onto the left leg, lifting the right one out to tap away into the center and then rising back up, okay? So we're keeping most of the body weight through the left heel. As you step away on the right, step back together and then push through that left heel to come back up, okay? So think about using your right leg as just a bit of balance support. Now you're just stepping out to a comfortable distance here. So if you are feeling any pelvic girdle instability or any pain, just keep your steps nice and short, okay? And again, your squats should stay nice and shallow as well as you squat through, okay? Hands on your hips help to sort of give you a bit of feedback in terms of how much your hips are wiggling. So if you're feeling like you're tilting to the side and your arms are moving side to side, just think about making those squats a little bit more shallow. Excellent. Doing really well. Think about sitting back onto that left heel, stepping away, back together, and then rising up, squeezing through your bottom here. Step away, in. Last one here, we're gonna stay low on the end of this one here. We're just gonna go for continuous taps out and in. Excellent. Really focus on keeping all that weight through your left heel here. Again, little toe and heel should be carrying most of your body weight. And you focus on keeping those pel the pelvis nice and still. So modify the range that you're stepping out based on how you're feeling here. Okay, little tap and bring it back in. If you like that extra challenge here, think about trying not to touch the floor. You're just going in and out, you're balancing on that left leg here. But again, if you're having or experiencing any pelvic girdle pain, keep both feet in contact. Excellent. We're going to go for another four, three, excellent, two, and one, draw back in. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah, it's like good. I can feel that all around my left knee. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. a, not pain, but just good above the thigh. The thigh. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So those are some of your stabilizers, which is excellent. Now we're going to even it up on the other side here. So we're transitioning the weight over to the right hand side this time. As you squat down, you're stepping out and back in, and then rising back up. Excellent. So back onto the heel, step away, in and up. Good. Little toe tap as you extend out, in and up. Good. 
Now think about keeping the heel down and you can really toe in contact with the ground here as well. You need to be tracking over your second toe. Excellent. Good. Squeeze through your bottom here to hold stable and run back up. Good. So remember your options for pelvic girdle pain here as well. So it's either a narrow step away or it's just little shallow squats here. Excellent. Lovely, we're going for four more. Wonderful, rising up. Three, squeeze through your bottom here as you stand up. Last two, tap, back in. One more, we're staying low here. We're going to be continuous little taps out to the side here. Good. Sit back onto the heel. Make sure that your knee tracking over your second toe. Your, your hip bones should be pointing straight ahead. Keep your shoulders nice and tall. Good, drawing it a little bit through your tummy here. Excellent. Keep breathing here. So you're exhaling as you step away. Inhaling as you come back in. Now, if you did choose that option just to hover that opposite leg up here, we'll add in that option here as well. But if not, make sure you keep just doing that light tap out to the side and you're modifying it based on how you're feeling here. Good, guys. See if you can come down a little bit lower into your squat here. We've got two. Last one. And pushing back up. Oh, well done. Oh my goodness. I feel like I could breathe now. Yeah. Oh, how are we done? That's it. Oh, well oh, done, that everyone. Fun. That was um, another solid session. T sure knows how to work as hard. <laughs> But I think the best thing is, after a session like that, you feel stronger, as you say, Absolutely. through your pelvis mm -hmm. and your glutes is such Absolutely. an important yeah. area to strengthen during yeah. pregnancy. So thanks for joining us. Um, stay tuned because we have a third trimester coming your way very soon. <laughs>